I always think when we sit or speak with you is that we need more interview with you. You always interview somebody and we need somebody to interview you because, you know, you are actually the guy who have very good view on arm wrestling. You know arm wrestling. You know arm wrestlers. You know, uh, like, what exactly happens <laughs> and you can, like, explain and also put some ads of emotions there. Like, you know, like a spicy on the meat. <laughs> I speak too much already. <laughs> Today or, or generally? Oh, forever, forever. Yeah. I'm here with Alex Kardashian. It's good to see you again. Oh, thank you so much. I, nice I, to see you again I also. I haven't seen you. Last time I saw you pulled Corey West, right? Yeah. That was the last. Yeah. What happened? After that, I was pulled also in Canada. Okay, uh, yeah. Yeah, I yeah we yeah. have some good and nice time with Dev, I, I <laughs> buddy. Heard, I heard buddy. you had some amazing time there. I don't know what they heard exactly, but you know, Canadians are very great guys, yeah. great arm wrestlers, and yeah. they have a beautiful hospitality. Mm -hmm. They are really nice. High hookers, all the rest of clubs, guys, yes. I will not mention all the, uh, all the clubs, but guys, you are amazing. And if you guys, somebody, only start and want to catch what is this arm wrestling and get some uh, beautiful experience, go to Canada. Go to Canada and pull there and feel the atmosphere. Yeah. And then go to high hookers, <laughs> practice, and do some practice with them. It's going to be fun. For sure. Um, so you've been out for arm wrestling for a little bit over a year, right? Yeah, something like that. So um, did something serious happen or you just needed to take some time off? Or At the beginning, it was like a idea to take some time off, yeah. It was actually not something for go for, you know. You need to have aim. Mm -hmm. Goals motivates you. Yeah, yeah you can train for yourself, but honestly, very seriously, you train even not to the matches, but matches which is challenged you. Yeah, and uh, arm wrestling, like Neo Pickup says, it's not the sprint; it's marathon. Yeah, sometimes you need to uh, also watch yourself, analyze yourself think how it should be and what will be next and like I said a good goal it's the biggest motivation for you now when I come back uh, it's not like I'm come back for one match yeah mm -hmm. of course it's matches unbelievable possibility it's like very special match for myself yeah but I come back to the road of matches I want to like uh, not just pull once or two times and only, or not only left, or not only right. I really now hungry for arm wrestling and hungry for come back. That's very good. That's, that's what I wanted to hear. Uh, did you have any injuries or everything is fine? You arms? know, it was some injuries. It was some injuries. Because uh, at that point you competed a lot, right? Yeah. Big, tough matches. Big, tough matches. You had a bunch of them. Right? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you, like, ignore this or you, like, change a little bit training process. But, of course, when you go to the limits and a little bit higher, sometimes your body tells you where the limits. You need to be also patient. Mm -hmm. Discipline, it's, like, more important than motivation. Mm -hmm. Because you need to be consistent. Mm -hmm. Consistency is the key sometimes. Because, you know, it's not too hard to give and push you all your uh, possibilities only today. It's actually hard to be day by day, day by in the day. process. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, it's also the answer when you really love something, you really want to learn this something. Mm. You enjoy the process, not yeah. only results. Understand it. Exactly. It. Yeah, you watch it other guys, you watch it competitions, you inspired, you like ask yourself how to become better and mm -hmm. you learn yourself. You really learn yourself and uh, open yourself for you because you like uh, some someday you think I'm probably understand something after that you like in this part of the time you understand I was not understand nothing in nothing. this yes. yeah yes. and you now understand that everything is before you that you are only on the beginning of the road yeah that is and you have uh, you're coming back to amazing opportunity this is for the world title not only that this is for number one left arm on the planet uh, versus Arto Morozo Morozo just left the room you met with him you had a few talk um, uh, you are bigger, you're much bigger than he is, uh, but he is the champ for a reason. 
Exactly. Right? Exactly. Right. Where do you think he is most like? Uh, okay, Morozo. We saw last time he had stomach issues, right? And he didn't look good at all. You you saw like I think everyone saw him, right? In in interviews, in uh, uh, behind the scenes, like he wasn't happy. Now he's much happier, much healthier. Maybe not at his biggest, but he he's still the number one guy. Um, even though I think you are pro, like you're a very good opponent, you have great chances of beating him. Where do you think he's the most dangerous? Honestly, first of all, I agree with all you said, and I say that uh, Artem deserved where he is mm -hmm. by fighting, by hard work. He is number one, and waiting for any challengers because yeah. he deserved. He worked for the place where he is now, and. For me, he's an amazing guy. Not like, for example, he's strong in the hook, or he's very endurable, or he also can be very fast. He is very smart. Yeah. In he, situations, he's all of those things. All of those. In the situations which is, can be collapse for some guys, yeah. for myself, like I, I would say that it's true. It can be collapse for myself. And for example, somebody like that he can pin. Uh, Morozo once, twice, Three and times. already start to change something to just check himself because he's also already uh, such confident. And after that, Morozo find a way to stop the match and to win that match. Yeah. And uh, he's absolutely well-rounded. He has perfect character for champion. He's very smart, he's very patient, and he's for sure hard worker. Mm. You see in his eyes this passion for our missing. He's not like just checking himself. He wants to do something which is impossible. To beat Artem, it's not absolutely not enough just to be stronger than Artem. And uh, you also need to love our missing in that level. You need to respect your opponent and treat him like a big climb, mm -hmm. very big moment. So maybe like this mountain will be not uh, defeated from the first try. What I mean exactly, if you are scared or you're afraid to lose one round or lose the match, you probably will be not going too far. You need to be ready even to be broken, but you need really want to fight and won. And you need to pay for this one by your blood, by your pain, by your lessons, by everything which is uh, our wrestling match gives to you. Mm -hmm. And the, the best lessons actually on the table, on the competitions. Uh, I believe in this. I mean uh, that gym and uh, your personal record, of course. it's not yeah. absolutely uh, the arm wrestling which like yeah. competition our wrestling gives to you. So. I'm like, say that this match is very special for me. Uh, how confident you are coming into this? Where, where is your confidence level? You know, confidence came from the real results. And uh, I want to say I'm confident. I feel it. But also I understand what the level of the opponent. Mm. Like I said, he make, firstly, he can do surprised. He, I know that he was his special coach now do a very good homework, very mm -hmm. good homework. I have no doubt he analyzed all my previous matches, all his weaknesses and strengths, all my weaknesses and strengths, and uh, he was his coach, uh, create the best strategy for the winning of this match. And also I'm sure that he have like couple of plans. If something will not work immediately, he knows what to do next. And uh, for this match to be confident, really confident, I, I need to do the same. First of all, to respect my opponent mm -hmm. and un understand the level of opponent. So, honestly, the biggest thing, <laughs> the biggest problem for Artem, I will not get out until my victory. Mm. If I lose one round, even if I lose the match, I will come back much more worse, much more worse opponent for him. Because he is really now my aim. Very good. Uh, so 
<clears throat> pre like previous uh, Kurdeche that I have seen was a great top roller. You were really good at getting your position, taking the hand of opponent. Sometimes struggled with finishing the match. Have you worked on something else? What, might we see something else uh, if that plan fails? If you just cannot top roll, let's say, you cannot top roll him. Is there a hook, press, flop press or something? Or you have spent more time improving where you're already great? For sure, like I always try to make my main weapon as best as possible. Mm -hmm. But like I said with Artem, you need to do some extra plans, extra moves yeah. and something a little bit unpredictable. And you know what the thing that actually he will do the same. He will do the same for sure. It will be also some little, I believe, even a little mind games. And it will be a lot of things before the start, before the ready go. You know, anything can, and can happen. Anything. Anything like, and you need to be ready for this anything. So, like, about my preparation, of course, it was much more, but accent, like you said, on the main weapon. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the top roll will be the main, and you'll see, you go, like, I, I think for most, right, especially when you're, you haven't faced that opponent, you're facing him first time, the first round, or the first two rounds are the ones where you're like, okay, this is where we're finding yeah. out what's going to happen. Yeah, like, it, it will be the answer. It will yeah. be the answer, like, first touching even on the table on the first round, it yeah. will be, give some answer. Yeah, um, I, I remember, like, I think this... Am I correct? The last left arm match, like the big left arm match, was versus Ryan Espy. Yeah, yeah. Like in the big stage, it was with Ryan. Yeah. yeah. So what I saw there was insanely fast and explosive, right? Uh, one of the things, not a lot of heavyweights move like you move, right? Um, is that still like you? You feel like that is the main thing that will surprise Artem, where he, because he might expect you, because you're big, you know, most. Big guys are not as explosive as you are. You know, probably it's like one of the very predictable things. I think uh, Artem ready for that. And uh, mm -hmm. I think he don't think that it will be very slowly arm wrestling. Mm -hmm. But uh, with what can be surprised for him, really surprised, <clears throat> I think it's endurance. I think he like think that he is much more endurable than me. Mm -hmm. And this obviously can be true. Yeah. yeah. But I'm not sure, like, like I said, when you can be no, the answer is when you already checked on the table. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it will be a lot of positional game. I know that he'll be using all, all possibilities, every millimeters. It will be not like if he see he like cannot uh, won in some position. Yeah. He just, will, okay, I'm, I'm not won. No, he will be use all the possibilities, all the possibilities of the change in the vectors and uh, find their best resistance position and uh, change the position of the game and try to direct the games in the place when, where he wants it to be. Mm -hmm. For me, like, like I said, he's very smart guy, very talented, but even more smart in the even uh, left-handed matches tell about him in this way, about uh, when I say it about Tadikian, but also right-handed matches. When you remember his match with uh, Chafee, how it starts, yeah, and he was able to find, stop, and f after that, Figure take out. take the victory yes. to himself. Yeah, so yeah, you you know where he's the most dangerous. I think. Uh, from you, I understand, like, a lot of people are, when they go to the matches, everyone is ready to win, right? Everyone is ready to win. No one's ready to lose, because losing sucks. But not a lot of people are ready for war. And sounds like you are ready for war. Exactly. Because when you when you think it's going to be easy, and it's not easy, it kind of breaks you down. But Yeah, you think, it can break your character. Sorry you, that I cut your words, but I exactly understand what you yeah. want to ask. Like I said, for me, when you are really ready and really want something, you're not afraid to even get hurt, yeah. lose round, or even lose the match. Yeah. I'm really sure this time that if I not won this match today, I will want it tomorrow or after tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Probably it's maybe too much confidence, but it's not about confidence like I want to take this prize. No, it's about how much work I will be put on it 
if it will be necessary. So it, it will be an unlimited work from my, my side. Uh, th this is definitely, th this is the main event of the evening. Uh, but um, off the topic, so there's a guy that you beat and he's doing extremely well, uh, Hermes Gasparini. Mm -hmm. uh, you beat him and after that he went on a legendary run, in my opinion, right? Yes. Having great matches everywhere. Uh, would you think there's a possibility for you guys to have a rematch somewhere? Oh, for sure, for sure. You know, both of us, and I'm happy to say that we are growing. We yeah. are growing, yeah. we love what we're doing, and for sure we will meet in the future. Right. Like, it's unavoidable. When you, when you have the aim, the same aim to climb to absolutely top, so you climb there with the best. And uh, I respect Hermes, and I definitely think he is one of the best. Uh, the the card, the uh, Feast vs. West Eleven, is is a great card. We have fourteen amazing super. Is there beside your match, like a match that you really look look forward to? Like you like, I really want to see how this goes. Is there a match? Or? Oh, for sure, for sure. For me, always matches like with John is very special. John and Crossy. Yeah, yeah John and Crossy, and so. Uh, Probably we have some possibilities that guys will be trying to surprise each other by, by top row, but I believe that it will go to the hook. Mm -hmm. In uh, some moments it will be hook, or it at least will be inside on the st with the straps. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know I'm cheering John, it's true, I respect Krasi, but John is very it's special. It's hard to not to be, right? In it's hard it's to also it's also about how much energy he spent and how much he yeah. gives for every one of us yeah, yeah, yeah. like i said john yeah. it's not only the champion you know yeah, yeah, yeah he's like a window to the world of our medicine for every one of us he motivates a lot of us i know that probably he motivates you he motivates me yeah. and uh, you know thousands of people and he also so kind he's a very nice human being. He's not so egocentristic guy, you know? No, very open. He has a big heart yeah. and give to everyone the piece of his heart. He give you advice. He find the time to, you know, give you this understanding, this uh, understanding of why I'm resting is beautiful. And he's like doing naturally. Yeah. He's just, he just, he is. He's arm wrestling actually. And uh, for myself, you know, he, I believe, gives to all of us much more than he takes from our wrestling. So he gives much more by motivation, yeah. by motivate all at, the people. At 59, with a lot of injuries, he's still going, exactly. right? Exactly. Uh, I think, uh, same, Todd Hutchings, right? 57, world <laughs> yeah, champion. Just amazing. Right, jo uh, Devon Laird, 48. So there's, we see, like you said, arm wrestling is not a sprint, it's a marathon. And even if you have to, like you have time, don't worry, you have time, right? Yeah. And if you have time, this Saturday, you have to tune in to see this big guy try to take world title from Artem Morozov, live on pay-per-view. Link is in description. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Awesome, man.